Good evening once again. So here we have another live stream which will be conducted today. Today is Sunday evening, so that's why we are doing this live video review. Um, to those who are watching my live reviews for the first time, I would like to apologize for all those artifacts. It is connected with riser equipment, which was not replaced by the manufacturer, so that's why we are having this stuff. Thank you for the first like, by the way. So here we are going to check fresh release from Brain Gun. It's a 170 second scale aircraft, which copies uh, Aero A18. It's a Czechoslovak fighter from World War One, and it's a resin kit, so that's why it should be interesting to see what it has to offer and if it is worth buying if you are, for example, a fan of special aircraft, let's say. So first of all, here box is quite small, here you can see comparison with my hand and thank you Nikki for watching. So uh, here we have box art photo of the finished model, then if we flip it over, here is nothing, then on the side is nothing, we only have the barcode here, which is not that much I would say. So now I would need the knife in order to cut through this sticker, just give me a second, it's going, it is going to be a quite a funny stuff to do, because usually boxes from brand gun they come sealed and this swiss knife it's a bit tricky because it's really sharp so we are going to open it right now here is what we have inside wow those artifacts are really crazy nevertheless now what do we have here we have all resin parts packed into the same plastic bag so we are going to put it aside then we have also assembly manual and decals sheet here. Obviously we are going to start with resin parts first because it is interesting to see what awaits us here in this small tiny kit. I mean it is easy to guess that World War I aircraft won't be huge in 170 second scale but still I wonder which size it will take. Okay so first of all here we have um, tiny parts I would like to show them first so that we can check them and forget about them. So what do we have here? One piece landing gear wheels as you can see uh, they should be relatively easy to install but you have to be careful while painting them. Also one piece propeller so you have to cut off the part from the resin base. It might look tricky but actually if you have some experience with resin parts it won't take a lot of time in my opinion. Those parts here we have the instrument panel, quite tiny one. I can bring it closer uh, to the camera, maybe it will focus and show you. Yes, now you can see it. And here is the part from another side. I'm not sure what this panel will be used for, I can guess for the landing gear, but we will see it in assembly manual. Then here we have various panels, barrels and tubes. I guess this will be used for the machine gun barrels obviously, maybe for exhaust tubes, who knows. Then next we have here the landing gear spars or landing gear legs. As you can see we have flash inside so obviously you will have to delete it. Uh, be careful because it is easy to damage resin parts while doing this stuff but final result should be worth it because those parts will be thinner than for example some plastic parts. And casting quality is really good, so I don't see any possible issues here with casting quality, obviously. Then here we have struts, and these struts come with the special tabs on the side, so they should be uh, protected from any possible damage. And again, you have to delete the resin flash between these parts, so be ready for this stuff. I mean, it will take some time and you need uh, the sharp knife in order to do it, because otherwise it will be really tricky. Then we have also here the machine guns. These ones are molded as one piece elements, so you just separate them and install into the place. Be careful while painting these parts because they're really tiny and here you can see comparison with my fingertip. Uh, I mean, definitely you have to use the sharp tweezers in order to hold the part. Next thing is quite interesting because we have cockpit molded as one piece element. So as you can see cockpit 4, uh, the front of wall and the pilot seat, they are molded all together. So you won't have to install them as a separate parts. And I'm going to bring it closer so that you can see it in detail. So here they are. Mol again, not the molding quality, but casting quality is really good. But it might be tricky to paint such powers division because we are used to paint the separate parts. I mean, at least me, I'm used to paint separate parts and then install them into the place. But here we have the sub-assembly, let's say, ready. 
out of the box and you have to paint it somehow. Definitely sharp brush advised because otherwise um, I can't even imagine how to paint these things. Next here we have the tail surfaces. So those are tail wings which are molded together with elevators and separate rudder which is molded together with tail fin. And obviously those are one piece parts, they're really thin, so you just separate them, install into the right place and you're good to go. As far as I can see there are no guiding pins, I mean the position pins for the right alignment of those parts on the model, so be careful while installing them into the place. Next we have the wings, again one piece casting quality, so because they're really thin, so there is no need to have two halves. And as you can see, we have special installation slots for the struts, so you just install them here and you are good to go. And again, here you can see the thickness of this part. Next, we have another wing. This one is a top board. And note that ailerons are pre-molded, so you won't have to uh, work with them. Some modders will be happy to see such power designs, some modders will be sad, and they will try to find something different, I mean, how to modify such power design. Here again we have special installation slots for the struts and all other components which will be holding this wing. So be careful, install everything into the right spot. Next we have fuselage half. This one is the left fuselage half. I'm a bit confused because I'm looking at those attachment points and as you can see we have two huge tabs and we also have the thin um, resin flesh. Here you can see it from the side. Oops. And if you flip it over, here you can see what we have inside. There is a modest cockpit detailing, but in my opinion it's more than enough for 170 second scale. And with some careful painting you will get a really nice result. Next we have another component. Obviously it won't be just one fuselage half. We have another one, here it is. Absolutely the same level of detailing. As you can guess there are no guiding pins inside this. Part, so you will have to be careful while joining these two fuselage halves together but as far as you can see it should be a relatively nice fitment there is no warping between those two parts so they should look nice once you align them together now it's a bit tricky because of the resin bases on the bottom next we have this plastic bag I thought there will be also the P thread but we have also decal only decal sheets one decal sheet so just give me a second to open it there is no mention where it was printed but printing quality looks really good so here you can see it maybe camera will focus now just give me a second yes now you should be able to see it so here we have necessary symbols i hope there are several marking options included but we will see it in assembly manual but once again printing quality is really good so here i don't have any complaints on this stuff. Next we have, last but not the least, is the assembly manual. There is no history note, nothing of this stuff I would say, so we start with parts map straight away and then we go on with cockpit here. You can see for example installation of the control stick, the instrument panel and the cockpit for into the fuselage half. Then we join fuselage halves together and we flip over the page. Here we have the tail surfaces. Then we continue with landing gear. And those tubes were actually the engine exhaust, as I said before. Then we have the wing struts here. Install installation process on the top part. Here we install the side wings. And again, don't forget that bottom wings, they do not have any guiding elements. So I would suggest to use some metal rod, which will be actually uh, holding them in place. Then here we install the top wing into the right spot, we continue with propeller here and then you have to do all the rigging stuff. Wire is not provided in the box so be ready for this, it will be quite a funny process in 170 second scale. Next here we have two marking options, so only two marking options in 170 second scale but still you have the traditional aluminium aircraft with wooden propeller and then you have the camouflaged aircraft which is quite interesting option as well. So it will be up to you which one you choose obviously. But as I said, this kit is already available on official brand gun website. So if you would like to order it, just go to their website and buy it straight away. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly. Don't forget to follow our Instagram profile because we will be doing the giving outs uh, on this profile. And of course, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.